This is an 11-year-old female with a history of scoliosis. The patient was previously evaluated with a non-contrast spinal MRI, which demonstrated a large central region of T2 hyperintense and T1 hypointense signal within the central cord substance from the lower cervical to the upper thoracic spinal region suspicious for syringohydromyoia. The patient did not have an associated Chiari malformation, though. The patient was brought back for post-contrast images, which revealed an infiltrative mass with nodular features within the central cord substance, greatest in the inferior thoracic spinal region. There are cystic components of the lesion at its cranial and caudalmost portions. In addition, there are regions of nodular enhancement along the ventral aspect of the conus medullaris compatible with leptomeningeal metastatic disease. There are postoperative changes in the upper thoracic spinal cord region following recent laminectomy and laminoplasty for biopsy. The differential diagnosis for the imaging findings includes astrocytoma, ependymoma, and hemangioblastoma. This was a case of cord ependymoma. Intramedullary spinal cord ependymomas are rare, accounting for only 4 to 10 percent of CNS neoplasms. Spinal cord ependymomas are more common in adults, while astrocytomas are more common in children. Typical imaging features of cord ependymoma include widening of the spinal cord with a well circumscribed lesion and the presence of tumoral and non tumoral cysts, syringohydromalia, absence of calcification, and log segment disease may also be present.